Some of you have been asking how I'm getting such smooth videography all of a sudden. The answer is I'm using a gimbal. This battery powered device uses a computer chip and a gyroscope to keep itself level with the horizon. It holds your GoPro and gives you really steady video, even if you're running or jumping around with it. The super sweet shots we got in the commuter video were filmed on Domingo's camera, which has a gimbal built in. In today's video, we'll take a look at my new gimbal, which was sent to me by Zion Tech to use and review. I assume they didn't send this to me out of the goodness of their hearts. They want a review out of it. So here goes, starting with the downsides. First of all, it advertises having an app, but then the instructions tell you to download it from their website. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that would require having a jailbroken iPhone or a rooted Android. Most of us are accustomed to getting apps from the App Store or Google Play Store, and there's no app to be found in either one. Supposedly, all the functions the app offers can be achieved other ways, so I guess I can live without it. Also, the batteries get charged in an external device, so you need to mess with this cover and pop each one out to recharge them. It would be nicer to have a battery pack of some kind, instead of fumbling with these. Lastly, the only way to attach your GoPro to this gimbal is without the protective housing. This normally wouldn't be a big deal, but it's called the Rider M, which I assume implies that you can mount it to a helmet or a bike and ride with it. In fact, it comes with this adapter that fits GoPro brackets. Given the things I do, it might be a better idea to use it handheld. So with those points out of the way, let's talk about what I like about the Rider M. First of all, this freaking thing works. Here's me running behind Emily at Olita River State Park. She looks like a badass. I've noticed that some other gimbals have a tendency to fritz out if you hold or twist them the wrong way, but this thing seems to stay level no matter what I do with it. Also, the unit itself is really well constructed. It's completely made of metal and has a high quality feel to it. It's also simple. You just turn it on and then use this other button to change modes. I haven't tried calibrating it or using any of the more advanced functions, but honestly, I haven't needed to yet. Also, unlike some other gimbals, the motor is completely silent, so I can get great audio without clicking and buzzing noises coming through on the video. This is huge since I like to pick up the sounds from the bike and nature whenever possible. The batteries also last a really long time, and it came with extra just in case. So although they're slightly annoying to change, I don't need to change them very often. In fact, they outlast my GoPro. I also like the fact that it comes with a really well-made telescoping handle. I usually mount my phone to it and use the GoPro app to see what's going on, although I guess their app is supposed to do that too. So taking everything into consideration, I really do like the Rider M, and I promise I'm not just saying that because it was sent to me for free. I had been looking into getting a gimbal, and the Rider M is everything I had hoped for. It's too early to say how it stands up to daily use, but it's well constructed and hasn't given me any trouble yet. So if you're looking for a well-built, quiet, reliable gimbal, then you may want to see what Zion Tech has to offer. It was really cool of them to send this to me, and after only a few shoots, it's become an essential piece of camera equipment for me. Thanks for riding with me today, and I'll see you next time.